In this video, we will show you step-by-step -step how to properly set up your file for Metallic Ink printing. But before we begin, if you haven't already done so, we recommend that you familiarize yourself with the process of how Metallic Ink works, which was covered in Part 1 of this series. Setup instructions are a little different for printing on coated or silk paper as compared to uncoated paper. So first, we will go over how to set up your file for coated or silk paper. Step 1. Create a new spot color named HP Metallic. That's HP space Metallic. You must name the spot color that exact name or it will not work. Next, pick any CMYK build for the spot color. Step 2. Any elements that will be printed with metallic ink should have a fill or stroke set to HP Metallic. These elements will print as silver metallic. Note, if you want to make a metallic color, you will need to add metallic ink on top of the CMYK. Ultimately, the silver metallic will print under the CMYK to make a metallic CMYK color. Remember, lighter colors work better, whereas darker colors will not look as metallic. Step 3. Copy the design element and paste on top of the CMYK and set to the metallic ink spot color. For design software packages such as Illustrator or InDesign, we recommend creating two separate layers. The first layer is your CMYK design. The second layer goes above your CMYK layer. Name it metallic and copy paste in place all elements that should be printed in metallic ink on this layer. Step 4. Set all metallic ink elements to overprint fill and overprint stroke accordingly. These are found in the Attributes panel in InDesign and Illustrator. Step 5. Make sure all PMS and spot colors are set to convert to CMYK except the HP metallic spot color. Step 6. Output a PDF with bleeds and crops. Next, we will go over how to set up your file for uncoated paper. Step 1. Create a new spot color named HP Metallic. That's HP space Metallic. You must name the spot color that exact name or it will not work. Next, pick a CMYK build for the spot color. Recall for uncoated stocks, metallic elements need an additional white ink layer beneath them. In your file, you will need to add white ink on top of the metallic. Step 2. Create a new spot color named HP White 1. That's HP space white space 1. You must name the spot color that exact name or it will not work. Pick a CMYK build for the spot color. For design software packages such as Illustrator or InDesign, we recommend creating three separate layers. The first layer is your CMYK design. The second layer goes above your CMYK layer. Name it metallic copy paste in place all elements that should be printed in metallic ink on this layer. The third layer goes above your metallic ink layer. Name it white. Copy paste in place all elements that should be printed in white on this layer. Step 3. Set any elements desired to print as metallic ink to fill with HP metallic. These elements will print as silver metallic. Step 4. Copy the metallic ink design elements and copy paste in place on top of the metallic ink design elements on your white ink layer. Set these elements fills and or strokes to HP white 1 spot color and set to overprint in the attributes window. If you are printing silver metallic only, now is the time to output a PDF with bleeds and crops. However, if you want to print in metallic CMYK, you will need to continue on to the next steps. Step 5 create your CMYK design elements. Step 6. Copy the CMYK design element and paste on top of the CMYK in your metallic ink layer. Set to the metallic ink spot color and set to overprint in the attributes window. Ultimately, the white ink in the metallic ink will print under the CMYK to make a metallic CMYK color. Remember, lighter colors work better, whereas darker colors will not look as metallic. Step 7. Copy the metallic ink design element and copy paste in place on top in your white ink layer. Set these elements fills and or strokes to HP white 1 spot color and set to overprint in the attributes window. Step 8. Be sure to set all metallic ink and white ink elements to overprint fill and overprint stroke accordingly. These are found in the attributes panel in InDesign and Illustrator. Step 9. 
make sure all PMS and spot colors are set to convert to CMYK except the HP metallic spot color. And step 10, output a PDF with bleeds and crops. Super shiny.